Hello everyone and welcome back to Dark Fall the Journal. This is part two and thank you very much for the support on part one. It means a lot. Right. We need to explore the station hotel. Uh, and we also need to have a look out for a silver teapot with a key inside it because, uh, the man, the myth, the legend, Nigel Danvers himself asked me to do that. So, uh, yeah, I'll keep an eye out for that. Now, um, I think this is the door I came through. So let's sort of start in this area and work our way around systematically. Yeah. Sounds good. Okay, so we can have a look at the light, or the sign. What about the door? Right, that works. Okay. Uh, okay, it's a bathroom, sure. And let's take a look at... Well, not myself, even though that does seem to be a mirror. Should I be worried? Probably not. Uh, okay. Oh, hang on. Still don't have running water in here, although I suppose that's not really a surprise. I mean, this place has been out of action for like 50 years or so, so... Yeah, that's that's okay. Maybe I have to get running water again. There must be a point to that, right? <laughs> Maybe not. Uh, we got some some paintings, some very sort of hazy paintings by the looks of it. What does it say down there? Arthur. That looks like the corridor I was just looking at. Actually, I guess that's meant to be the hotel. Uh, okay. Yeah. Sure. Um, what about the others? Can we just yeah? What's this? Uh, paintings of Dowerton Station are by local artist, the late Arthur Johnston. They're available for purchase. Please approach Edith, Betty, or George, who I'm sure are all dead. So, let's not do that. Although, maybe they're the people that are sort of haunting this place. It's possible, isn't it? Uh, okay, let's get out of that. And, um, yeah, it's like they were all smeared or something, but maybe that's his style. Sure, okay. Scarborough? Sure, we got a toilet here. Can... What was that? <laughs> it wasn't the toilet, I don't think, or at least it wasn't this one. Ah, oh, here we go. All right. What is going on? I'm sure that isn't meant to be simulating like running water or anything, but I guess I don't know. Maybe there's something around this hotel or in this hotel with me. Maybe upstairs or something. Anyway, for some reason I can't play around with the uh, the taps, the faucets here. I guess you know we're gonna we'll run into the same problem. Okay, is this a completely pointless room? Because that kind of is what it feels like right now. That light was flickering earlier. I don't know if <laughs> that means much. Let's just back away. Let's try another room, shall we? Let's go out. I guess I'll I'll come back later if necessary. Oh, hang on. Henry V, the man himself. Okay. Is that important? I mean, it must be, right? Again, it's got this weird smeared look. Uh, okay, so we can't lift this plate off or anything. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll assume that is Henry V. I don't know what you look like, but I'm assuming that's right. In here? In here we go. Okay, it'd be nice if I found a map of this place, really, I suppose. But, uh, who knows, who knows, maybe. Ooh! There's definitely someone in here with me, isn't there? And it may or may not be a ghost, or it. I don't know. What have we got in here, anyway? Kennedy Glass? Where, I think that says? Can't have a look at it. Another flickering light. But again, we can't have a look at that. Nothing? Nothing. Okay, what's this? The Stereoscopic Company? Hand cameras! Oh, wow! Oh, cutting-edge stuff! <laughs> That's pretty cool, actually. I hope this is like a real advert that they just put in the game. That'd be really, really nice. The Country Gentleman's Catalogue. Of 1894, does it say? Oh, I'm probably reading that wrong. It was 1694, it kind of looks like. It's too low-res, this game. It really is. Um, okay. That's interesting, I suppose. We've got some drawers here. And we've got someone in the room above us, by the sounds of it. Okay. No luck. Huh. Looks like there's a sheet of paper there in a box, but for some reason I can't have a look at that. Maybe that's not important. I guess it's not. And there's nothing over here apart from a wall. And another wall. So, yep, yeah, okay, we're leaving. Yeah. Yeah, this does match up to that painting we saw. Hmm. Okay, so... E, F... I think we're actually dealing with the hotel rooms. Let's, uh, I guess let's start at F. Alright. What are we dealing with here? We got a bed. We got paintings that have been removed, but not this one for some reason. 
What's that? Uh, is that a microphone? I had a microphone just like that about 20 years ago. <laughs> yeah, it was probably one of the first microphones I ever used on a computer. Weird. Is that, I, I mean, that kind of looks to me like it might be a webcam or a camera of some sort. I can't examine it, which is a bit weird. All right. Oh, a ther no, not a thermometer, a thermosayer. Uh, sure. Okay. It's nearly 15 Celsius. Is that important? I guess not. Uh, all right. Can't seem to back away. Oh, maybe I have to close this. Yep, okay, that's just the way the game works. Uh, yeah. Alright, so I can't do anything with this at all. That's a shame. Um, what else have we got? Can we have a look under the beds? No, the floorboards, they seem to be fine. In the wardrobe? No, that's okay. Can't look out the window, really. Nice close-up of a lighthouse. Hmm, okay. Light switch, I assume, but, you know, the lights are on, so we're not going to be meddling with that. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, bit of a red herring this room. Let's have a look at E. Who are uh, you? Who are you? Who are you? Or was that Oliver? <laughs> oh, hang on, I can use something with, uh, I think Oliver Cromwell here. Would you like some money? Oh, you need some light, I see. This room is ghastly. Why did I ever come here? I assume that's not him saying that. And that isn't Oliver Cromwell anyway, that's, uh... I want to say it's the king that was found in a car park kind of recently. I think it's Richard. King Richard the something or other. <laughs> that's his full title. Is there some weird little detail that I should have a look at? There must be. But maybe not. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah. That's weird. Uh, we got a big box here. It's got something on it, but I can't really read it. And we can't interact with it. Surprise, surprise. What's to our left? A wall. Brilliant. Okay. Ah, because the lights are off, now we can interact with it. But it still doesn't work. So this isn't getting power, but the other one is. That's weird. Uh, I don't suppose there's a modern day fuse box around here that I can meddle with, is there? Again, paintings have been removed. I guess they were looted or something, right? Maybe some of them were quite valuable. I couldn't be asked to lug the wardrobe out. They probably just made new ones elsewhere. So yeah, uh, okay. I think that's it for ENF. So <laughs> that's kind of weird. Why can't I have a look at that painting in, in such detail? I could use the light. That's mm. maybe I'll have to come back there later. Anyway, let's try. I presume C and D. Yeah, okay. Let's have a look at D. Uh, all right. Okay, well, not much of a bed here. What have we got on the table? Ooh. Bottles of beer, I think? Yep. Yeah. Can't take the opener or anything. Ooh. Oh, it's a joker. Ooh. <laughs> what does that mean? What game are you playing? <laughs> what's this? Betty, what's going on? You told me no one would know I was in this room. Someone tried the door a while back. I didn't open it, of course. Then about half hour ago, someone knocked and whispered my name. It ain't you. I'd know your voice any time. If your mam finds out I'm in here, she'll blow her top. She'll tell me dad too, and then we'll really be done for. I'll wait for a bit, and then leave this note in the storeroom. Hopefully you'll find it before whoever it is finds me. And P.S. Bring you some more beer, love. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Feels like hiding out here, kind of. Hmm. Trying to keep the relationship secrets. Okay. Cigarette. Can't take that. Okay. Can't play with any of the other cards. Just the Joker one. I don't I don't know what significance that has to anything, but maybe nothing. Maybe this is just a game full of red herrings and lots of little things you can examine for no particular reason. Uh like like this. Okay. So we got power in this room, obviously. I can't imagine that lamp's been on for Nearly 50 years. Maybe uh, Nigel or Polly turned it on. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I I, I don't know. I, <laughs> this, this is pointless to me. Uh, 
Let's just back away. The wardrobe? Again, not much to it. And again, it's just a wall. Can't meddle with the lights because they're on. Okay, let's let's go across to room C. Okay. Well, you know, aside from the paintings being missing, it looks like a fairly normal room. There's a mattress missing. That's fine, I suppose. Hang on. Ooh. Right. So this is this is ghost hunting equipment, is it? This is Nigel Danvers and and Polly. Who the hell's Polly? What happened to Polly? Why don't we see Polly in um in the fens? She was replaced, I suppose. It's kind of weird. Lovely. Okay. Yep. Apart from the noise, not much here. But again, all this noise, it sounds like it's not in this room. It sounds like it's above me. I should go to the uh, the second floor, I think. Um, anyway, yeah, let's go this way. Oh. Okay. Little stairs going up as well. B or A? A is already a jar. Let's check out A. I can't hear what that is properly. <laughs> That's what my brother heard, actually, reading his PDA. He heard a, whis uh, a whistling man on the station. Polly and Nigel came running, but they couldn't catch a glimpse of him or catch any audio of him. Is that him whispering now? Or is that it? I don't know. I don't know. I think we might be done with this room, though. So, uh, yeah, finally, I suppose, let's go to room B. They're all unlocked. I'm kind of surprised. Okay. Interesting. M, avail in... leave me alone, I see. Okay, I, I will, once I've figured all this out and got my brother back. And Nigel back, I suppose. Maybe I don't get Polly back. Maybe that's why uh, Polly doesn't go to the Fen. She doesn't go east. She doesn't continue ghost hunting. Okay, I'm just sort of going through the motions right now, just trying to find anything that I can examine. I'm sure there's things I'm missing. I don't know how much pixel hunting we really have to do in this game. Uh, was that just to have a look at Leave Me Alone? Those symbols again. I feel I should go back to the cavern at some point. What I should do is probably look through all of those holes and note down what they are in that sort of weird zigzag line system that they got going. I'm sure that's, I'm sure that's relevant. That definitely seems like a clue. Okay, let's leave. Okay, yeah. Um, so. I think I've had a look at everything. Should we continue going on? Should we go upstairs? What are we going to do? We go up or we go slightly less up? <laughs> Let's stay on this floor, I guess. Let's go this way. Oh. Oh. Okay. I'm going down. Weird. Uh, sure? Is there a phone around here? Maybe. Uh, back here? Oh yeah, yeah, there we, there we go. Hi. Frank, are you there? Who are you? Who are you? What do you want? What do you want? I'd leave this place if I were you. If you know what's good for you. I guess I don't. Not without my brother. Weird. Still not exactly sure what happened to these guys. I don't think they're dead. I mean, Nigel can't be dead. He returns a few times, so... Maybe they're in some other dimension or something? Right, uh, can we call someone? Are they trapped in phones? Is that the deal in this game? They're all trapped in phones? Alright, oh, I guess I can't actually dial. Well, maybe, I don't know, I just don't, don't have the numbers, so... Yeah. What we got in this box? What is that? Jones Family Butcher since 1854. Pigs Trotters, two rabbit. Skin, beef trimmings, giblets. Uh, two pleasant... <laughs> no, sorry. Two pheasants on five pigeon. Lovely. Yeah, I'm salivating already. Uh, that's 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 just great. Is that Edith, George? Some of the names we've had a look at, maybe. I don't know. Uh, got a draw here. Okay. This time, not a thermometer. We have floods. What you need to know. 
Floods have recently struck in your area. If you are not affected this time, then you may be next. Are you prepared? Have you even thought about it? Take a look at this new photographic collection so you can freak yourself out. Uh, <laughs> sure. Oh, there's more, okay. Taunton underwater, hundreds made homeless after flood strike. Streets disappear, looks fun? It's not, it's dangerous. Stay out of flood water. How was that? Why was that covered up? Is there something there that you... Oh, oh, it's a letter? Oh, shit. I thought they were just blocking out a building for some reason. Dear Mrs. Penfold. <sighs> Who's Penfold? I mean, I don't know these people's last names. George Penfold? Edith, Edith Penfold, maybe? I don't know. I can inform you that our research has shown that the hotel and station are quite safe from the forthcoming floods and storms. The Great Western Railway has proven unto me that the new earth banks to the side of Platform 2 are quite sufficient. However, the barn at the base of the bank, which is not protected, is at high risk. I recently had a look around and noticed that you are allowing your guests to use it as a garage. You may wish to encourage them to park their motor cars outside the hotel instead. I would also be interested in any details you have regarding the owner of this vehicle. I have received a most interesting report from London, and believe that it may be connected. So write the details down and Betty can pop them in on her way to the... Jesus Christ, there's another page. Butchers tomorrow morning. Then again, I will most probably be taking Bloody up your kite. Who does he think he is? After hours indeed. What? What? Sorry, you threw me right off. I was I was doing pretty well there. Uh, I will most probably be taking up your kind invitation and attending the party this evening. I fancy a good old sing-song. It'll also give me a chance to have a look at this guest of yours. One favour to ask you, my dear. Do not let on my identity. I wish to remain... How do those foreigners put it? Ah, yes. Incognito. There could be a promotion in this for me, and I will not ignore your help. In fact, I might choose to cast a blind eye over the reports of after-hours drinking in the bar. Naughty, naughty. Mum's the word, my dear. Mum's the word. Sadly, I have no news regarding the Pike child. Missing for days now. I have to admit that this case has me totally in the dark. Talk to you tonight, Constable Harold Perch. Right. Okay. Yeah. All right, so they never found Tim. And, you know, 50 years later, they still haven't found him. What's that? Oh, something underneath. Fortis by Validus. Keep this code in a safe place. It looks like a plan for making a die. It's a code? Or like 21354? Or blank 4, maybe? I don't know. Take it with us. No? We're not going to take it with us? We're going to leave it there. Huh. Considering the amount of exploration I've been doing, I'm surprised I haven't picked up more items, really, but I don't know. Got some stamps there. All right, yeah. Yeah, okay. Lots of things to keep a note of in this game, it seems. All right, let's close that up. And I suppose we're kind of done with this area? Yeah, all right. Let's, uh, let's back away. Okay. April. Right, okay. The second was a delivery. I mean, what year is this? Was this 1947 or something, wasn't it, on the newspapers? I'm assuming maybe that was the last time this was this was done. 29th is music night. Okay, good to know. I think I may have missed it, but good to know. Great, a nice close-up of the painting. All quite dreary and drab, isn't it? And so many walls. <laughs> uh, okay. What are these? We've got some switches! Uh, reception? A attic. There's an attic. First floor, dining. Second floor, cellar. Third floor. The bar. Right, this is a pretty big hotel. We've got a lot of exploring to do. But we can't actually meddle with any of this. I was hoping maybe we could flick the switches. I think this... I thought this might actually turn the lights on elsewhere, but maybe not. I don't know. Got some hinges there. But I don't think I can swing this open or anything. Have a look at the wiring. What about up here? No cords have been cut, nothing like that. Okay. Um, right. I sort of zoomed through this area a minute ago. I should probably really take my time and have a look at it. Uh, oh, Jesus Christ. Where are we going to start? <laughs> Wait. Hang on. What's this? Hold on. Hold on. Let me go back here. That wasn't a safe combination, was it? Give me a moment, guys. Give me a moment. I can probably remember this, but I don't want to get it wrong. 
I think if I do this in the right order, I think I might be able to get that open and see what's inside. And hopefully, whatever it is, it's pretty good. Yeah, so Fortis, yeah, 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 this makes sense. So you got to be out of the room to have a look at what's in the room, which is kind of weird, but that's fine. Uh, so we start off by going to the one on the left. Yeah, and then we go up here. Uh-huh. And then in the middle. And then right down the bottom. And then to the right. Then we turn it. Oh, shit. That's like the first puzzle completed, pretty much. Okay, so what do we got here? It's an item. It's it's a key to the bar. Interesting. Okay, what else we got? That looks like to... Looks like there's another safe inside this. Look at all that old money. But no. I'm not interested in that. It's just the key to the bar I want. Okay. Well, I suppose we have to uh, see what they were doing in the bar. Alright, that was pretty cool. Okay, nice, nice. Um, yeah. Uh, oh, there it is, right there. Okay, so that would, that would have been locked, I guess. Um, sure. So... Uh, I guess I should probably tackle these, shouldn't I? Is it going to be like the other sort of uh, pigeonhole things where we have a look at all of them, maybe? Dear Miss Scrable, I suggest that we meet this evening for dinner. Uh, I take great pleasure in assuring you that our business is far from over. Events have taken a new twist. I'll be in the restaurant, if I'm bold enough to call it that, from 7pm onwards. Don't be late, it'll cost you. Muddy funster. I don't know. Um, what about this one? Room number 1E. Miss Grable, 9am. Two slices of lightly toasted bread. Oh, so, so this is a bed and breakfast and everything as well. With uh, a fresh apple, pot of strong coffee. Not too sure about this one. Best not keep her waiting. Was that the Richard room? Do I have to go back there with a pot of, you know, a pot of coffee and some bread and apple? Maybe. Maybe, I don't know. Might be a clue. What about this one down here? Uh, Edith, I'll not be joining you... Uh, I'll not be joining you all in the bar straight away. I have something to deal with. Tell Verney that I hope to join him for drinks before midnight. I may have a lot to confess. I hope to have the chance to explain. Do not come looking for me, if you will not find me. George. Right. That sounds very mysterious. What's this? Uh, room 2B, I'm assuming on the second floor. Miss Fly, at 9.30am. She demands orange juice. She doesn't just want it, she demands orange juice. She's a right one. Get it from the bar. Also, two slices of toast and some local jam. Strawberry's looking off. Give her that. Hoo-hoo! -hoo! Bitch! <laughs> Maybe that killed her. <laughs> she was the first of the ghosts. Oh, okay. Just like the other pigeonholes, there's one we can't actually have a look at. For some reason, this is singled out. So let's just go down and have a look at this. Room number 2E. A Verney. Right. I mentioned to Andrew that we may have a bit of uh, knockoff bacon today. So if you get down the village early enough, make him a nice sandwich with daddy sauce. He'll have a hangover. <laughs> Red wine. Ooh, bacon sarni. That does sound good. I'm, I'm actually really getting hungry now. Uh, note to all. Um, uh, note to all of us. Right, I have the feeling that someone is breaking into the hotel. Aside from me, of course. Nothing is stolen, but I heard someone on the second flight of stairs tonight. Strange, given that everyone was in the bar. I ain't blaming ghosts, either. Okay. And that's that. Okay, I can save my voice. I can rest it a little bit. Uh, nothing down here, by the looks of it. Or maybe, I don't know, maybe we have to go in here to examine that? No? <laughs> it's not the case this time. Okay. Oh, blimey, there's something else to read. Betty, where are you? I've looked all over for you. When are you going to clean the bar? Your music night was a huge success. I've just been counting the takings. I suppose you can clean in the morning. No hangover, I hope. I'll have a bit of a sleep, so try not to wake me. It's very quiet now. Either everyone has gone to bed or left completely. Strange. I suppose it is time for me to retire as well. Breakfast details are in the pigeonholes. Uh, no one will be up early, though. Not after tonight. See you later. Love, your mum. Uh, and P.S. George didn't come down, did he? Didn't see him all night. So he wasn't finished with his mysterious business. Interesting. Okay. Can't have a look at that one. Um, sure, sure. Is that a wardrobe or a door over there? Oh, it's a... Oh, fuck, okay. Well, there's another room here. Uh, might be getting ahead of myself, to be honest. Let's just go back through, and let's go back to the desk, because I think there might be something else there. Might be wrong. Ah. No, I wasn't. Okay. 
order more gin. Yes, for DW. We have a pen. We don't want to pick up the pen. We got business cards. The taxi service. Doubt in 133. That was a phone number, I guess. Real simple stuff. Any of this ringing a bell? No. We got that, of course. Oh. Oh, this is different. We're not going to take a sheet of paper with us, but we need to move it somewhere. Right here. Very specifically right here. That, oh. Where the hell did you get that from? What's this? Right? Do I put that down there now? Maybe? What? Is that the zigzag pattern that I saw in the sort of cavern underneath that barn that may or may not be flooded soon? It doesn't look anything like that, does it? I mean, what the no- I'm a little bit confused, honestly. Let's just back away. Does it stay there? No. But we can do it all again. What? This is like a connect the dot thing. But I don't know where I'm getting this information from. And what's that with room 3E or 3C, possibly? I guess I should have a look at that. Um, yeah, okay. Weird. If anyone can make sense of that, and I'm sure someone can, can you let me know what's going on there? Like how I figured that out? Or even what I was figuring out? Uh, sure. Okay, so let's go this way. Let's not go through the door. Let's just keep it to this sort of area at the moment. Um, ooh, there are those noises again. Okay. What are we going to do? Well, I mean, we could go to the bar, right? Hang on. There you go. Yeah. All right. Kind of creepy. They've been celebrating all this time, maybe. Hmm. Okay, uh, let's come back to this area a little later on. I really do want to be systematic about this. Okay, from this angle, the desk, we can't actually have a look at anything there. Right, uh, do I go that way? Do I try these doors? I don't know. Let's go down this corridor, seeing as we're sort of at the entrance to it. The station hotel. Okay. Gents and ladies. We got more toilets, I suppose that makes sense. Oh, you know what? I suppose we're at the other side of the building. From the station and from the platforms, so this would lead to the roads, I guess. Um, but we're not going that way. Maybe we need to find a key. Hmm, don't know, don't know. I guess let's have a look at the toilets, shall we? The gents. Let's start with the gents. Uh, didn't we read last time that someone was suspecting someone may have been peeking in? Oh, there's another camera. Uh, from the gents into the ladies. Maybe we're going to find a, another little glory hole kind of thing. Don't know. Again, it's a camera that I can't interact with. And I can't interact with the sink at all, so we can't even try the water. Got some paintings over here. The light switch works. Okay. Do I want the light? I guess I would. Oh, that's weird. With the light off, we can't actually turn around. We can't get off this screen. I'm sure this is significant. I just don't know how. Right. Well, there's the toilet. Okay. Oh. <laughs> it's trying. It really is, but it's not working. Okay. Well, you know what? I'm not seeing any holes here. Unless, maybe, a painting's covering a hole or something? Is that is that a thing? That could be a thing. Well, planks of wood, which is a bit weird. Hmm. Tell you what, let's go into the ladies, see if we can find anything in there. So... Yeah. I saw a piano in the bar, didn't I? Hmm. There's a lot of ghosts in this place, by the sounds of it. I, I guess Nigel and Polly were in the right place. Okay, we got the same sort of situation. Yeah. I just don't quite know why I can't turn round. I guess there's something we need to see in the dark, but it's got to be something to do with the painting. Wait, if, if we turn this off and then use the lantern? No, that doesn't work. <laughs> it's 
screwdriver, key, money. Do you want money? No. Okay. Maybe it's something we need to see in this. No, I, I don't know. Let's let's just take a look at the uh, at the bog. Lovely. For whatever reason, I can't even attempt to try this one. And again, I don't really see anything wrong with this. And then the, the sort the door's in the way of most of it, so I don't know. Weird. Very weird. Let's just leave. Let's just get out of here. Okay. So, those three doors have been looked at. I guess the bar's up next. Although, I kind of want to have a little look around at what else we got. More paintings, more walls. Double door to something or other. Oh, hang on. Where does this go? A kitchen? Okay. I mean, yeah, sure. Now we're here, we might as well have a look around. Complaints book. Oh, this is going to be good. Edith by Arthur. Are you sure that's not Arthur by Edith? That's a woman. Could have fooled me. I don't know. <laughs> uh, right. Side lits powders. Uh, very, very nice little details, but that might be all it is. Just a weird little detail. Devonshire Country Cookbook. 100 ways to cook tripe. Ugh. Just the word tripe. I mean, it just, it has horrible connotations, doesn't it? Uh, let's see. Cheese grater, I think I see. Can we have a look at the rest of this? No? Hmm. If I do have to get a pot of coffee, if I do have to toast some bread, find an apple or something, does it mean I'll be doing any cooking in this game? Because, you know, if I, if I am doing cooking, this will probably be the place I do it. Alright, we got dripping water, and yet there's no running water, so I don't know what the fuck's going on with that. Pots and pans again. That's it. Okay, moving on. Uh, right, we have a stove. We have an oven. We have a pot. We have a pan. This is probably where I add stuff, right? <laughs> uh, I can't help but think of the Lost Crown segment, which never bloody ended, it felt like, so... Oh, hang on. What have we got? We've got some drawers down here we can have a mess with. Oh, oh, what's this? Okay, spam clicking has led me to Monday the 24th. Table 1 complaints. That pretentious cow from up London started moaning uh, that there was no vegetarian dishes on the menu. Says that we should offer a more cosmopolitan diet. Whatever that is. Then she had a problem with the table. Said that there was a strong draft from the big doors. So I moved her down to table 3. But there was a problem with the lamp. It was flickering. So she's back on table one. Alright. Get oh, Jesus Christ. What's this? <laughs> you you split this up into two little drawers? Okay, fine. Uh uh no. Table one will not suffice. She's having none of it. So I've uh I've had to move nice Mr. Verney from his usual position in table four to table one. Cow. No doubt she'll have a problem with the train noise now. I think the 8.45 postal train is about due. That should get on her nerves for a while. I'll be glad to see the back of... Uh, this is Miss Grable, I suppose, right? Okay, yeah. Well, we've just read that she was a right one, didn't we? So, yeah. Hmm. Weird. Okay, let's close that up. I'm just going to spam click the rest of this, just in case. <laughs> Pots and pans? No? Okay. Tiles? Okay, I think we're actually done with this. Might be wrong, but yeah, okay. Um, fine. What do we got on the shelves over here? Oxo cubes, hey! The original beefy cube. What does that say? Five years of Oxo? Oh, Christ, yeah, I suppose back then it may have been five years of Oxo. What's this? Betty, uh, Jones may not have all that we need for next week's dinners, so ask George to have a word with Beryl. Uh, I hear she sent her prize. So, Twinkle, off to the abattoir last week. She's a sly one, that Beryl, being Station Master's wife, has gone straight to her head. Just do your best with the shopping. Your mum. Lots of X's. Oh. Also, burn the last few pages from the complaints book. I don't want to be reminded of that cow from up London every time I open it. Reckon she's an actress. Okay. Uh, Miss Grable is playing a very prominent part in this game. We're going to need to find out what's going on with her, I think. We've got more of this powder. And even more of this powder. Well, what, what, what was that? What was that? I saw the word chocolate. I was interested. Round trees as well. Nice, nice. 
down here. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, whatever that is, it's probably gone off by now. Ooh. And I guess I don't want the uh, cockroach either. Lovely. Okay, like with most of these screens, I'm not getting too much from this. Hmm. Okay. What about on this table? What have we got here? More reading, of course. More reading. Betty Love. This is the recipe for that... Brawn, I think, that George had that time in Taunton. It don't look like much, I'll agree. But he reckons it were lovely. Your mum. Stop putting X's. Uh, spicy brawn includes a pig's head, four pig's trotters, a teaspoon of salt, uh, 14 ounces of beef skin, okay, uh, two onions, four garlic cloves, a tablespoon of black peppers, um, two lay leaves, white wine, teaspoons of lemon juice, parsley. My God, this is incredibly complex. And I feel that I need to follow this recipe or something. Do we need to find this stuff? I hope not. Where am I going to find a pig's head? Oh, who knows. What's this? Battered pig's trotters. Yeah, it really does feel like I'll have to follow this recipe. But thankfully, I'm not holding any food right now, so I guess we don't need to do that quite yet. What's this? Oh. Oh, what's that? A funnel or a sieve or something? <laughs> it... It feels like I should be able to pick this up, but I can't. There's nothing else in there, is there? I don't think so. Again, it might just be a red herring. There's so many of them in this game, it seems. Right, let's back away. Um, kind of look through the window. I look at the oven. Go on. I'm sure there's more to the song. Where's this go? Right. Right, so this is the little restaurant, if you can call it that. Uh, okay, yeah. What the hell is this? That looks god-awful, honestly. Is that meant to be a stained glass window? I think I saw something similar in the bar as well, actually. Okay, hang on, right, so what's what's this? The Station Hotel Doubting. Oh, it's the, the menu, I guess. Uh, uh-huh. Bread and butter pudding. Ooh, lovely, lovely, yeah. Okay. Sure. Oh. Is this, uh, this, this is table three then, is it? Okay, you know what that three looks like? It looks like this was a crime scene or something, and forensic experts placed this down next to, I don't know, is that a spot of blood or something? Actually, that might be it. No, maybe not, that might just be part of the pattern. <laughs> but, you know, maybe this is where the events took place. Whatever these events are, exactly. I'm still not sure. Well, there's something under the table. Ah, oh, right, the flickering lamp. Right? Well, that's a nice little detail, but is there any significance to it? Am I meant to be seeing something? On the tiles? No? I can click all around, but nothing seems to happen. I don't know. Maybe an area I'll come back to later. Let's have a look at the rest of the tables. Uh, I don't know what this would be. Two, maybe? Can't have a look under this table. Can't play with the lamp on this table. Have they all got different symbols on them, these tables? Looks like it, doesn't it? One, two, oh, okay, so the others won't have numbers on them, that's fine. Cups and saucers, that's okay. Let's have a look at this one. And there's another camera. I hope at some point we'll have a look at some of this camera footage that uh, Polly and Nigel went through all this effort to get. I guess if I find their room, maybe I'll find their monitoring equipment or something. And I guess that's got to be upstairs somewhere. Yeah, we should go upstairs, really, I think. Um, yeah, so that's that. Can't get through this door. Probably got something to do with this, but I can't move that, so, okay, we're, we're gonna have to go the long way to get out. And finally, this table, we can't even have a look at. Okay, 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 right. Uh, yeah, let's go back on ourselves. Shush. Just finish the song, or shut up, okay? And that box, we can't do anything with that box either. Um, 
Where next? The bar? Do we go back up to the, uh, to the rest of the hotel, maybe? I don't know. But I think this is probably where I'm going to end part two of Darkfall the Journal. Thank you very much for watching this part, and I hope you enjoyed it just like the first one. And I hope to see you back in part three, where we'll explore the bar, hopefully the rest of the hotel. Um, I don't know. I guess we'll see what happens. I know we're still looking for a silver teapot with a key inside it, though. And we don't want to let Nigel down, do we? So I hope to see you back in part three. We got a toilet here. Can What was that? Let's have a look at E. Who are uh, you? Who are you? So write the details down and Betty can pop them in on her way to the... Jesus Christ, there's another page. Butchers tomorrow morning. Then again, I will most probably be taking Good up your chick. type. Who does he think he is? After hours indeed. What? And then to the right. Let me turn it. Oh shit! Strawberry's looking off. Give her that. Hoo -hoo. Bitch. Where the hell did you get that from? Complaints book. Oh, this is going to be good. Edith by Arthur. Are you sure that's not Arthur by Edith? 